mga kaka Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Ko po si Rachel Ashley. Since October is a Filipino American History Month, I decided to make every Friday this month Pinoy Pride Day, diba? <laughs> Good one, diba? Today we're going to talk about why I used to hate being half Filipino. So if you guys don't know, I am half Filipina and half European. My dad is a mixed European. He's Yugoslavian and Romanian. And ang nanay ko is a Filipina. So I basically live in a neighborhood where there is not much diversity. Um, so it's a struggle sometimes growing up as not fully white as being someone who's half Asian or whatever your case seems to be. There wasn't many Filipinos in my school, probably like 2% of our school population was like Filipino. I mean, there were some Asians, but not many Filipinos. When I was growing up, there was this guy, he was full Filipino. I moved to that school in third grade. Hold on, coffee break. <laughs> I was like, oh cool, there's another Filipino dude, you know? But people ended up making fun of him and I that we were Filipino, and since we're only the only Filipinos there, it's perfect we should just get married, you know? And like as a third grader, it's not fun to get made fun of for being Filipino, but in my case, half Filipino, and then them pairing me up with a boy. Like, I just found that really annoying. I know a lot of half Filipinos are a lighter color, they're mestiza or whatever, and for me, that just wasn't the case. I have Filipino skin color, I am morena, and I'm proud of being morena. I love it, I love my tan, but a lot of people would kind of make fun that I was like really dark and I don't know. They didn't expect me to be so dark. It was just like a weird thing for me, especially growing up. I didn't know that Filipinos had like a beauty standard of being lighter and wanting to be whiter. There was a time in elementary school when I was growing up. I brought lunch to school. I brought some fun set. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and people would make fun of my lunches at school because they were different from other people. Other parents packed their kids sandwiches and pizza and I got pancet and all these other like Filipino foods like adobo and stuff like that and people thought it was weird. They would make fun of me and be like, ew, what are you eating? Are you eating worms? And it just wasn't fun for me. It made me not want to be half Filipino and kind of hide myself and hide who I was. That's one of the things like I didn't like growing up. Another thing I didn't like when growing up as half Filipino is that people expected me to know Tagalog or Visaya. And I just didn't know. Like my mom tried teaching us when we were little, but it just didn't work out. Um, I didn't want to learn when I was little because I didn't want to learn to speak another language because everyone over here, especially where we live, everyone speaks English. Why would I need to learn another language and be made fun of even more, you know? So even though my mom tried teaching me, it just wasn't something that I wanted to learn and something that I wanted to do because I knew going to school, I would be made fun of and I just didn't want to be made fun of. I wanted to fit in with everyone else. I wanted to look like everyone else. So I kept dyeing my hair different colors. I, w I went a little bit blonder. I hid part of who I was. Sometimes people would ask me like, oh, what are you? And I would be like, oh, I'm half Filipino. Like my mom's from the Philippines. And they're like, the Philippines? What is that? Where is that? Like what, what even is that? And it would make me kind of sad that people would like look at me differently, look at me in a strange way. People back then, I feel like when I was younger, didn't really accept the fact that there was other people from different countries or other ethnicities. And at least where I lived, and they just had a hard time accepting it. They made fun of people for doing certain things. Like my brother now, he doesn't really have a problem. He tells people he's from the Philippines. They're like, oh, what's up, man? That's cool. What's up? Yeah, Filipino. But for me, it was just, it was different growing up and I just didn't, I just didn't like it. I didn't want to be half Filipino. Now I actually really do enjoy being half Filipina. Um, I totally embrace it. I know on YouTube, I do a lot of Filipino videos and a lot of people get really annoyed that I'm doing Filipino videos or a lot of people don't like the fact that I'm trying to learn Tagalog or the fact that my mom speaks 
Visaya and I'm learning Tagalog and then boom they're like so frustrated at me at why aren't you speaking Visaya you know that it's so like you to speak Tagalog because it's so social and so much better huh and I was like dude calm down like I finally now in my 20s it, I'm starting to learn to love being half Filipino, to embrace it, to learn more about the culture because you guys, like, I never really learned anything about it. Growing up, I didn't really learn Tagalog and Visaya because you know my little story about not wanting to make, be made fun of. But the other reason as I grew older was my dad is European. So if my mom taught me and my siblings Visaya or Tagalog, it would just be hard for my dad because he doesn't know that language. It was just easier to speak English throughout. So that's one of the reasons why we didn't learn the language when we were younger. But now, as I'm getting older, I want to learn Tagalog. I want to learn Visaya. I know I will never truly learn what it is to be Filipino because I didn't grow up there. I'm only half Filipino, I understand that. But I still like to learn about the culture. I find it very interesting. If I'm completely honest in this video, the, one of the main reasons why I totally got into the Filipino culture was because of Will Dasovich. I know many of you guys know who he is. Um, he is such an inspiration to me. He is someone who truly has inspired me. I started watching his videos and started seeing how someone from California moved all the way to Manila and decided to embrace the culture to see that he was half Filipino and still learn to love and embrace his Filipino side and I really liked that and it made my interest about the Philippines grow even more. I started watching Filipino teleseries like On the Wings of Love, um, Till I Met You, oh my gosh, so many good things. I started watching more videos about the Philippines, reading some books, and trying to just immerse myself in the culture to learn a little bit more. Of course, the best way to go and learn about the Philippines is to just go to the Philippines and talk to the locals yourself. I'm happy to be half Filipina. I love supporting the Philippines. Whenever there's a Filipino contestant in anything, I'm all for it. I'm all about Filipino pride. I hope you guys enjoyed this video somewhat and got a little bit of an inside look of what it was like for me to be growing up half Filipina. And I love you guys so much. Mahal ko kayo yung lahat. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Pinoy pride! Yo!